everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 6.1, yeah, we're going to go over moles, um, some conversions, and a little bit of molarity, and that is it. So let's hop to it right now. So this is page one of your test. Um, we're going to do molar mass. So have your periodic table ma ready. Mass mole conversion, so have your periodic table. And molarity calculations, so have your periodic table ready. I got mine right here. Hello, my friend, Professor Mokuder. Let's hop to it. So this first part um, is just a conceptual part. So you don't even need to write it down if you're copying all this stuff down by hand. Um, atoms are so small, we need to think of them as groups. So we don't buy gasoline in drops or by the gram. We buy about 12 gallons, okay, except the hippie Tesla drivers. So people say a 12-gallon hat was like the size of a cowboy hat. That's a 10-gallon hat, I guess. That's it. We don't buy 755 cubes of ice at the gas station. We buy a bag of ice, right? So we group these things. These are easy-to-handle numbers that are typically between 1 and 999. So notice the bag is between 1 and 199. And we don't buy drops because they're too big. We buy 12 gallons. Okay. All right. So other examples, paper is small. So how many sheets are in a ream of paper? 500. Shut up. Bottle rockets are small. So they're sold by the gross, which is 144. Atoms are the smallest yet. Okay. So molecules of compounds are the same. So they're so small. We group them these huge numbers. Okay. The smaller the thing is, the bigger the groups. So we're going to deal with moles and one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which is this enormously beastly number right here, okay? E is 10 to the caret, um, but keeps the order of operation. Um, and to get it on your calculator, you hit second and comma. Okay, that's what this stands for, okay? So how many atoms are in two moles of Na? So this really isn't as bad as it sounds like, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, let me show you. I got two moles of Na, and I want to convert it. Remember I said one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd? So all I'm going to do is multiply it times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then to make it all come out pretty, um, we show this to show how the units cancel. So see how moles of Na would cancel and atoms of Na would be left over. So I'd get 1.204 when I put it in my calculator. 6.02 second comma E23 second comma times 2 is 1.204 E24. And the answer would be atoms of Na. 2.5 moles. Oh, that's a little harder. But 2.50 moles helium, which makes me talk like this. And I have one mole of helium. So notice one mole of, oops, one mole of any element or atom is going to equal 6.02 E23. Okay. So I'm going to actually get my calculator now because that one I can't do in my head. So, man, my calculator is dirty. Um, 2.5 times 6.02 second comma, uh, 23, enter. And I get 1.505, I'm just going to call it 1.51, E24. Oh, no, I forgot the label. Atoms of helium. Atoms of helium. Good. All right, here we go. Molar mass. Mass of one mole of a substance. Now, this is confusing. The molar mass, so it's the molar mass, so it's the mass of a mole. Ah, uh, okay. So be aware of that. And molar mass means go to the periodic table. Atoms and moles are still pretty worthless units, so we need to get into grams. So we're going to get out our periodic table, and the periodic table tells us what a mole of each thing weighs. Okay? To find the molar mass, we just going to add up the parts in grams. So if I've got CO2, carbon, or oxygen, oxygen. Okay? So I'm going to have 12.01 that's carbon. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this. Carbon equals 12.01 times 1. That's 12.01. And then oxygen is 16.00. See it? Times 2, because CO2 is 32. 
I'm going to add that up and I get 44.01 grams of CO2 per mole. Make sense? I hope so. F2, see how F is just 19? F is diatomic. 19 times 2 is 38 grams per mole. Neon's not diatomic. Uh-oh. So they just go to the periodic table. 20.18 grams per mole. That's not bad at all. Whee! All right. Converting grams to moles and moles to grams. When we do conversions, we're just setting things up to cancel you. So, all right, here we go. Get ready. A little seventh grade math class here, okay? So, two sevenths times seven thirds. Do you remember in math class they taught you to cancel, right? Boom, boom. Those cancel out, and I get two thirds. Okay, that's kind of like what I showed you a minute ago, right? Now, what about here? When I multiply times three over three, multiplying by three over three is the same as multiplying by one. We know multiplying by one doesn't do anything. It's like kissing your sister. Nothing happens. But in this case, we can change it to be 12 fifteenths, but really I just multiplied it by one. So this is helping us out in a secret way that we'll see a little later. Okay. So when we do our conversions, we're really multiplying by one. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Already typed up and printed for you. I want to convert 3.50 grams of NO2 to moles. Okay. So... This right here has to equal 1. 1 mole of NO2 equals 46.01. So here's our given. The put, you put the, you want to cancel the bottom unit. Boom, boom. And we go to the periodic table for the mass. So when I go to the periodic table and look up nitrogen, 14.01 plus 2 times 16 for oxygen. All right? Nitrogen plus oxygen. I got two of them. Okay. So I bust out my calculator. 3.5 divided by 46.01. And I get 0 0.076. 0 0.076. I'll go one moles of NO2. So again, go to the periodic table. Why does it go on the bottom? Here's my given unit. My given unit, I want to cancel it. I put it on the bottom. This guy right here, to make him cancel, I have to be diagonal. I want to cancel my given unit. I put it diagonal. All right. I got 0 0.550 grams of H2O. I hate you grams of H2O. I'm going to cancel you. You are canceled. Ugh. And I'm going to go into moles of H2O because that's what it asked me for. One mole equals go to the periodic table. Oxygen is 16. Hydrogen is 1.01 times 2. 18.02. Point fifty five divided by 18.02. Remember, diagonal things cancel. And I get 0 0.0305 moles of water. All right. Got a mean question. 23 grams. 23.0 grams. BA. NO3. Whoops. And I wrote the wrong thing. Taken twice. So remember, this 2 means I multiply that and I multiply that. So that means I have 6 O's, 3 times 2, and I have 2 nitrogens, 2 times 14. All right. So I'm going to grams of BaNO3 taken twice, and I want to go into moles. One, The number 1 is going to go with moles all the time today. So, little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. So, barium on the periodic table is 137.33. And then I have six O's, so I have plus 6 times 16, plus 2 N's, 2 times 14.01. So, let's get that number. 133 point, oh man. 137.33 plus quantity, 6 times 16, close quantity, plus quantity, 2 times 14.01, close quantity, execute, 261.35, ooh, that's pretty small, that mean, means 23 divided by that number is going to be pretty small, 23 divided by second answer, now why am I dividing, it's on the bottom, right, so you're like multiplying by half is dividing by two, 
and I get 0 0.0880 moles of my friend barium nitrate. Yeehaw. Same thing on the other way. I got 10.5 moles of lithium chloride, L-I-C-L. I hate you moles of lithium chloride. I hate you, Mo. I'm a hate. I'm a cancel. Oh, yeah. Ah, right. The number that goes with moles here is going to be one. And I want to go into grams of LICL. And little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. Lithium is 6.94 on the periodic table. And chlorine is 35.45. So I'm going to add those together. 35.45 plus 6.94 is 42.39. So now 10.5. Now I'm going to multiply it times, oops, uh, so we make 10.5 times 42.39. And I get 445 grams of lickle. Okay. I'm not going to do any more of these. I'm done. All right, concentrations of solution. All right, let's take a look at those. So, um, light Kool-Aid versus dark Kool-Aid. So concentration means how much junk you got in it, right? Let's get a little picture here. If I have it concentrated, it'll have a lot of dots. Mmm, that is a tasty, you know me, Diet Coke. Oh man, my Diet Coke's watered down, right? This is concentrated, this is dilute. And we want to be able to measure this with a real number. So the way we're going to measure this with a real number is with molarity. So moles, just like we talked about before, equals molarity times volume. Mole is moles. Big M is molarity, the unit for concentration. And V is volume. It must be in liters, not milliliters. So to use liters, to convert it to liters, we have to be able to consistently move it three spots to the left. So if I got 50 milliliters, I got one. Two, three, doink. Hey, there you go. 3.5, 1, 2, 3, doink. 0 0.003. Really, this is it? Yep, this is it. A solution of 200 milliliters with three moles. So remember I said moles equals MV. So here we go. We got moles. We got three equals looking for molarity. My volume is not 200. It's 0.2. So now I'm going to get out my calculator, work my calculator magic. 3 divided by 0.2 is 15 molar. That's it. Most questions are super annoying, and they give you grams, not moles. Oh. And milliliters, not liters. Oh, man. So that means whenever we're doing molarity, we know we want to do, so an F, we want to do moles equals molarity times volume. But when I get 50 milliliters, I got to change that right away to 0.05 liters. And then I have 10 grams. I'm like, oh, dirty dog. I got to convert that 10 grams of barium nitrate into moles. And remember, I given unit goes in the bottom, oh, grams of barium nitrate. I just did that one for molar mass. I'm going to cheat and look at it. Barium nitrate. Didn't I just do that one? I did. So the molar mass of barium nitrate, so it's barium nitrate, is 261.35. Mr. Fowler, you lazy. 261.35. And that'll convert me into moles of barium nitrate. Now, you might think, this is what Will's thinking, I'm not going to write all this stuff. It doesn't matter. Believe it or not, my friends, this is the easy stuff. Shut the front door. You're kidding me. This is the easy stuff. So we want to keep these labels and get in the habit now so that when it gets nasty, nasty, um, we'll be able to remember better. So this is 0 0.0383 moles. So I'm now going to use my wizardry of color, I hope. There's moles. There's moles. Here's liters. There's liters. Let's do it. So now I'm going to have 0 0.0383 equals molarity times my volume, which is 0 0.05. So do a little math here. Molarity is 0 0.0383 divided by 0 0.05, and I get 0 0.765 molar. How fun is that? 
so much fun. Last question. What? La yeah, last question. All right. Um, diabetics sometimes need sugar when their sugar crashes. How many liters of 0 0.750 molar, so in order to get a concentration of sugar, can be made with 945 grams of sugar? So I've got molarity, which is nice. I know I'm going to do moles equals molarity times volume. I'm trying to find how many liters, so that's okay. I've got my molarity, but this grams stuff is what i got to get, got to convert. 945 grams of, ooh, here's sugar, c 12 h 22011 Holy molar masses, Batman. Carbon is 12.01 times 12. That's the go to the periodic table number for carbon. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 .01 times 22. 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling. No, you just. Yes. Yeah, I did. That's not the real Taylor version. The real one's bad. Poor Taylor. Oh. 12.01 times 12 is 144.12. Only I didn't write that. I got that song stuck in my head. Only I got the tune stuck in my head, but I can't remember any of the words. 144.12. 1.01 times 22. I don't know about you. It's 22.22. .22. 15 times 11 is 176. All this stuff to add up. 176 plus 22.22 plus 144.12 is 342. All this to get this. So there's 342.34 grams of C6H12O6 and one mole. That's a lot of grams, by the way. C6H12O6 equals 945 divided by second answer, 2.76 moles. Okay, so um, we want to figure out how many liters of this we have, so let's see what we can fill in here. This is moles, this is moles, uh, this is liters. Oh, no, that's molarity. There's molarity. So I'm solving for liters. So 2.76 moles equals 0.75 molarity times volume. V equals 2.76 divided by 0.75. I get 3.68 liters of life-saving sugar water when people have their sugar crash. That is it. We are Audi 5000S. I will say so long to all of you, my friends. Oh, if I could just get to my end spot. Toodles.